All right, these just came in. These are supposed to be cast iron hook ends, like an Art Deco style from the 1930s as a gift for somebody that has a dachshund dog for a pet. So very heavy, that's really heavy. Okay, not bad. Let's check out the other side. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Pretty heavy. This this seems to be a little rougher shape than this one. I saw that in the pictures when I bought it. But what we're gonna do today is try to clean this up a little bit. Now it's pretty cold. Still in good shape. Seems like it's solid. Solid iron. Tail still good. The ears are still good. Let's try to clean these up a little bit, get some of this rust off. You could say, oh, you're supposed to leave it, but I don't know. I think it'll look better if we try to bring this back to its original state. All right, so I'm gonna use some of this Barkeeper's Friend cleanser and just a green scrub brush here. and just try to get some of this loose stuff off of here. See how it works. I don't have much of that left. Well, you can see a lot of it coming off. this is really smooth it's almost like it's been sandpapered or something with some fine sandpaper it's got a nice almost like a metal finish like a gray on it it's not very pitted it's really tearing this up look at that Doesn't look like it did anything. It's smoother. I got some really, really fine sandpaper here. Okay, so here's the difference. I tried washing it in the sink with the scrub brush and the barkeeper's friend. Eh, what a waste of time. That took stinking forever. Now, if I had the, the electrolysis thing where you hook it up to the battery, that would have been, probably been a lot easier if I could do it that way. But I resorted to the palm sander. I just got the palm sander out and just started going over it real light with some really fine paper and it was so much faster so I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this one up a little bit what I'm trying now is just I'm just scrubbing it with some Dawn dishwashing liquid just to get some of the dust off from the, the stuff I sanded maybe. Maybe this can get some of the rust off. Now I do realize because I'm putting wet water on this, it's getting wet, that it's going to instantly want to rust right back up. So I've got a plan for that. Let's see what it did. Let's see if it did anything. Well, the sink the sink's good. Looks like dirt's coming out. It actually feels like 
smooth metal now. Let's see, compare that one. Now I sanded both of these. Let's try just scrubbing this one down. Let's see. Let's see. Heck yeah. How about that? Heck yeah. The dawn. I got a plan B here. Now, because I just sanded these and wiped them all down, they're gonna rust instantly. So I got some CLP. We call this in the military. It's, it's what we use to clean our weapons with. Cleaner, lubricant, and protective. CLP. So, let's see what this does. Since I already destroyed this towel. Let's get some on there. Let's load it up. Alright, there's the dog all oiled up. Now, I got a trick for that. So we can bake that in. I preheated the oven to 275. And we're going to heat this metal up. Set that sucker. I'm going to get a tray. Uh oh. Better not tell. Better not tell uh, Miss Oxford 821 what I'm doing. We're wrecking the place here. Let's put the dolls in there for like 10 minutes. Let's heat them up. Let's get that metal hot. All right. It's been 10 minutes. Look how hot they are. Oh man. Yeah, I guess they're hot. I guess they're hot. Yeah. Put some paper down or something. Put that down. Get that other bad boy out of there. Alright. Let's do one more coat oil and then we're gonna bake them again try no, it's not ooh, yeah yeah it's hot it's hot but not like burning hot we've got plenty of oil get it on there heavy let's get it on there heavy Right. Let's get them back in there. Yeah, they're hot, man. I can't believe how hot those suckers are for just 10 minutes. All right. Another 10 minutes. All right. I think that's done. Ooh, baby. Yeah. That should have dried all that oil. Yeah, it looks shiny. Looks shiny, really smooth. Okay, so let's prep this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray black on the book end parts here. Let's tape it up. All right, I already put tape around this one. around this one they're still stinking hot man god hey yeah so I just put tape all the way up to the edges there make sure I got it all the way up to the bookend part yeah that looks pretty good. And I just got some Rust-Oleum, and I'm just going to spray that. But let me wrap the rest of the dolls just in case.
Do some rust -oleum. All right, let's let that dry. So let's see how the, the paint job turned out here. Hmm. Get this off. Wow, that, I don't know, can you see that? The lighting isn't good. I'm not in a, I'm not in a studio. But I, I just painted the back because I wanted that back to actually look like a book and not part of the doll. Now, I have seen online when I was looking this up, somebody was selling a set of these on some auction website, it wasn't it wasn't like eBay, it was some other one I never heard of. And the person had the dogs painted like a reddish brown, like a dachshund in the pictures. And they had this back part painted black, like, like I just did. So that's where I got that idea is to paint the, the back part black. Yes. Man, look at that. That paint tape stopped that paint. Look at that. All right. So now we're all ready to the next step. So I bought a sheet of black felt from Walmart and just some spray glue. And what I'm going to do is put the felt on the back here. Just like that. And I'm going to cut it big and then trim it. All right, let's do this one first. See how this goes. Push down on that one. Seems like the paint is still a little tacky. That's all right. Push down on that one. And we'll let those dry. I'm actually thinking about putting some on the feet. Yeah, let's do that. Where the the four feet and maybe even the bottom of the so if you have it on your mantle maybe it won't scratch the mantle or will it slide easier I don't know I guess we could always take it off let's try it let's try it Oh, look at that. That's a stay on. Perfect. And I dropped it, of course. It's all right. It's all right. 
Hey, look at that. I can fold this over right now. I can fold that over right now. And we'll come back to that. All right, so this is dry. So let's cut this off. Now, I got some pretty cheap scissors here. Another one of those things. If you had the right tools for everything, it, everything would be so much easier. But this isn't a very complicated task here. So we got it on this bottom edge here, across the whole back, and I already cut this one. I already cut this one so you didn't have to watch me do everything. All right, let's look at these things in the light. All right, we're gonna call that done. I just painted the bookend parts black. Now, like I said, I saw somebody online that painted the dog actually like a rust brown, but I don't know. I think it looks, I think it looks better like this. Like it's a actual metal bookend here. So let's put them together. You can see on the back and all the bottoms is the felt. All right. 